start broadcasting. Okay. <clears throat> I hope we're alive. Let's check. Am I alive? Refresh. Hooray! I think we're alive. I hope. I have a commercial. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna wait till this commercial's done before I start talking. Mute that. Are we alive? Is it working? Yay! <laughs> Hooray! It's always cool to see like the things flood in. Yay! Okay. So, for those of you guys who missed yesterday's stream, I know it was kind of late. It was kind of spontaneous. I had to do my art of gaming for this Saturday. I am still not done with it, obviously. But I am doing one of Sly Fox Hound. And um, I started it already. So we already have his face drawn in. And I haven't changed anything from last night. So um, we're going to go ahead and try to finish it today. Um... I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day. Today is Wednesday, and I woke up probably like an hour ago. I was so mad at myself. Let me go ahead and just start painting because, uh, oh, for those of you guys who are wondering, I'm not using a mouse. This is a Wacom tablet, um, and here's the pen that comes with it. So just making sure, making sure we can see that on the screen. Um, but... Let me just jump into things. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, I can't. I need to record this. Hold on. I'm gonna just gonna go black for a second. Hold on. I need to launch fraps. Good thing I didn't forget that because then I wouldn't have anything to show you guys for the art of gaming. <laughs> Alright, so the, you might see these numbers up here. Um just just ignore them. All it is is fraps um to indicate that I'm recording. So those are my frame rates per second right now. Okay. Yes, this is live, the Blue Viking. All right. Wait, how does the... How does it sound? Does it sound okay? I've seen something about sound. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right. So... Oh, cool. After watching this live stream, you inspired me. I'm going back to drawing again and getting a tablet tomorrow. That is awesome. That is really cool. That's a really cool uh, feeling to uh, to hear that I inspired someone. So I'm going to go ahead and merge these layers. It's really just a matter of practice. Um, okay, I am going to start just coloring in everything. What color pants should we give them? What color pants is there? I think a black dark colored pants will look good. Let's do a blue, but we'll do really dark blue. And remember we have uh, we have a, a, a light source. We'll, we'll bring this back up. Our light source is coming from there. So, there won't be too much light. There'll be a little bit of light on his legs, but um, for the most part, it should not be hitting. So, I'm just going to I was gonna do this really fast. Last time I just took way too long. I was just taking my sweet time. And the thing is, with these, they're supposed to be like speed art videos. Well, I mean, I guess it's not really a speed art video. It's just the art video sped up. I wouldn't stop working on something if I'm not happy with it, or if I wasn't happy with it, I would continue to work on it. But um, we need to go a little bit faster. Um, for the sake of time and actually I don't have any other videos to upload today I just uploaded um, the the video that me and Sly did we the the cooperation complex Minecraft one we're working on I just uploaded that it might be still processing so um, you guys might not be able to see it but I don't have any videos to upload uh, so I was just planning on live streaming all day <laughs> I was planning on doing this, on live streaming this, and then I was thinking, okay, well, I need a Binding of Isaac, so I could go to Binding of Isaac after, and I just need a Minecraft, so maybe I could stream some Minecraft after. Uh, I don't know if this is a bad habit or bad pattern that I'm getting into, but I think it's pretty cool because I get to interact with everybody. 
Um, but hopefully, I don't I don't have any videos done for the weekend or anything. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, so is that a troll face? <laughs> Yes, it is. So let me just go ahead and um, tell you guys what's going on in this picture. So it's Sly, um, and he is just walking along. I think I might add some more foxes. I had this, no, not that one. I had this one in there, but it was just basically a copy of the other one with a hat. I'm gonna draw some other uh, foxes, and we're gonna draw like maybe three more foxes in here. What it is supposed to be is Sly is supposed to be just walking along. Um, I guess I'm going to make it a fourth scene, um, but there's going to be little foxes that are following him around, and those are supposed to be his homies. So his homies have different personalities, and um, there are even some trolley-ish homies. So <laughs> we have the the artsy homie with <laughs> a mustache, um, a gentleman homie with the top hat and the monocle, and superhero playful homie and I don't even know what else uh, what other kind of homies we're gonna implement into this but that's where you guys are gonna come in and I'm gonna ask you guys for some help on that whoa totally went out of the lines oh and there's a commercial okay all right let's see wait, 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 wait. do a hole in his pants uh, okay we could do that does he have like a hole on his knee? Beep. We'll put like a little hole in his knee. There. Well, we're going to to retouch that, obviously, but that's where it will go. I don't know if he has holes in his pants, but since he is walking through a forest, we'll make him have a hole. Okay, so he is going to have little black shoes. This just very rough. I'm gonna have to start working on the background a little because um, <clears throat> it's always good to work on the whole piece and not just focus on one, you know, portion. Just kind of have the whole piece evolve with each other. Um, I kind of just went crazy on his face, though. <laughs> we went crazy on his face. Okay. What graphics tablet do you use? I'm using the Wacom Intuos 3. Um, there are some better ones that are. I, I know Red has the Intuos 4. I bought that for him for Christmas. Um, but this one is, works for me just fine. If you're looking for a tablet and you want to buy one, um, and you've never used a tablet before, you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of money, I would suggest getting a Wacom. They're, I think they're, uh, I don't know if it's Wacom, but it's called ba a bamboo tablet. Um, they're just, I think they come in the same size as this one, um, but they're a lot cheaper. But the thing is they won't last as long because it's a little bit rougher and there's these little nubs. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's these little nubs on the end of the pins. You actually have to change them because they wear down. And with uh, the bamboo tablet, ah, with the bamboo tablet, they wear down faster. So um, it's kind of like kind of really up to you if you're just starting out and you want to see how how a tablet feels which is going to feel super weird in the beginning and you just don't know what to get just get I would I would suggest if you're trying to save money then get the bamboo but if you know if you're willing to spend another extra hundred bucks get the Wacom the interest three is, is pretty good. So I'm just going to color in these foxes really fast. We're just going to do this very, very sloppily. Nice and sloppy. <laughs> All right. And we're going to have our little troll. I'm trying to make up like this. <clears throat> Someone said that I should. I feel so compelled to stare at the troll fox. <laughs> Um, someone said that I should make two foxes hugging. I think I will, because, I mean, we have the playful, um, we have a playful sly, we have, or not sly, we do have the homies who love each other and who are just all about supporting and stuff, so I think we will do a couple 
of foxes hugging hugging it out bro just hug it out this this fox looks totally weird he originally when I started drawing him he just looked weird off the bat like his body and I was like he kinda looks like he's sneaking or dancing or we'll just make him a troll <laughs> kinda just worked out that way okay we're not gonna draw on the troll face yet so let's work on the gentleman we're working on the gentleman it's really awkward to use a tablet. I draw fine on paper, but when I use a tablet, and then I couldn't see the rest of the comment. It is very awkward to draw on a tablet. It's just something you have to get used to, and it'll come over uh, practice. A lot of people get discouraged while using a tablet. Um, they don't feel comfortable using it. And it is a weird position, because you, you're used to being able to turn the paper and kind of work with it that way, but with a tablet, you can't, because it'll screw up your painting. Um, I mean, you can, but it's it's... It's different. You have to keep it straight. Um, my advice is everybody had to get used to Everyone who uses a tablet had to get used to it. It didn't feel natural at first when I first started using it, but you get used to it over time. You just keep pushing through and keep keep going. Don't get too frustrated. Don't get too frustrated with that. So there is the gentleman fox. I should probably draw the other foxes now so because um, when I if I try and I could I could add them on top after but it might not look right so we're just going to draw them in so we're gonna have two little foxes hugging and mind you guys this is very rough we're gonna go in and make it look like fur add different lighting this is very, very, very rough. All right. Hey, why are you scrolling down, thing? Oh. Ah, okay. So, where's my drawing layer? Here's my drawing layer. We're going to draw some more foxes. All right. Put a cape on the fox. There is a cape. There's a cape on the fox right here. Okay, where should we draw these two huggy foxes? You know what we could do? We could move, let's see, I was thinking of moving this one, I'm going to have to move the drawing too, but we'll do that after. We can move one here, like in front of him, I don't know, let's deselect that. Where shall I put them? Where shall I put them? I'm thinking. This is me thinking. I kind of want... Okay, maybe we could add them like back here. Oops. Maybe we could add them back here. Let's just draw them in really quick. They'll be like... Shoot. Okay, what we can do... <gasps> I'm thinking. Okay, we're going to move him. We're going to move him this way. We'll move him like right here. He'll be down a little. Let's see. We'll have him there. So then we're going to have to move this one too. Lasso it. Let's move this. Like that. I don't like that. It'll be tough. Don't like it. I really don't know where to add these foxes. I kind of want to just add one walking in front, like around here or something. Similar to this one, we'll figure out what he's going to be after, but we're going to add him walking. <clears throat> yeah, they're baby foxes. Okay. We can have him have... We can Instead of having him look... How is this one looking? Instead of having him look at the camera, we could just have him looking straight. So his little head will be looking straight. And his eyes are here. I don't know what he's going to be doing, though. We might have to shrink him a little. I think I may have drawn, drawn him a little too big. Baby Foxy. Baby Foxy. We're going to have his little hand going back like his little foot. 
this. I love the little stub feet. Like that. Uh, looks weird. It looks weird. I don't like it. What's going on today? I had trouble drawing the foxes last night too. Um, I don't really draw foxes all the time, but we're going to make his tail. You know what? We'll make him the really like passive fox, the one who doesn't comment at all. <laughs> so he's going to have his tail very low, just dragging on the floor. The one who just kind of hangs out, supports, but doesn't say very much. And just kind of walks on by. Here's the little leg. And another one back here. How's that look? And then his little ears will be like back. His little ears will be down. Because he's so cute. Okay. So here is his head. It's not very round. It's weird shaped. We gotta work on our shaping. Okay, there. And so there. I don't know why I cover my mouth when I talk. It's super bad. So his little ears are down. There. And this one will start like right here. There. It's a little passive box. There. And we're going to shrink it so it looks a little big com in comparison to <clears throat> everything else. Okay, there. There we go. Let's make him smaller. Oh, he looks cute. I like him. He's kind of just walking on by. Okay. Um. A <laughs> lonely fox. <laughs> Forever alone fox. <laughs> no, I'm. it's just a little passive fox. Okay, now we can add the lovey foxes. We'll add them. Mm, where will we add them? I don't know where we're going to add them. Maybe we can do... I don't know. I kind of like it. Like, oops. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What did I do? I kind of like it like uh, like this. It's pretty... I mean, I don't want to add too much on left because that's where the icons usually go. So for now, I'm going to leave it with just this box. It's kind of crazy to see how much of a difference... Oh, what the heck? How much of a difference one fox can make. So we're going to go ahead and color it in a little. Give it a little bit of color. There we go. Then I'm going to go in. I'm going to start getting the background in. So, because uh, you're supposed to really work on the background first. Well, in traditional art anyways, that is. Um, works. It's like you work on the background first and whatever's in the foreground you add on top of that. But we just kind of said screw the rules. I'm doing it my way. <laughs> Okay, let me add this tail. And this is very rough again, so don't worry. We're going to add a col some color onto this cape right here. What color should the cape be? Should it be blue, red? I think red is cool. We can always change the color of the cape, but dancing fun. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see if we're going to add any more foxes. I haven't decided yet. I kind of just want to get everything rolling. <laughs> Foo fox. Alright, so here is his little... We're just going to roughly... Doot, roughly draw in this little cape. It looks a little pinkish. Well, we could change that color. Don't worry. This is just... A rough estimate color. Okay, that's all right. And we'll add a little here. 
I think I like the red because <clears throat> it stands out against this background. Well, we're not even going to have this background, so. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I am going to work on the background, so I'm making a new layer. And let me drink some coffee because I'm getting a little sleepy, even though I just woke up. Mm. A red cape with a creeper face. Just like Minecon. I don't know if that would show. Because, I mean, you, the, the creeper face is on the back of the Minecon cape. Why isn't this working? There you go. Okay. For the background... I don't even know. I kind of just like it purple. Ugh. Maybe we could just do variations of purple, like a purple forest looking thing in the background. Like gray, gray it up a little bit. So we're going to use, where's that drawing? Where's the, there. Okay, we're going to use Durka Durka Durka, a light, oh well. Green like the home like the homie night. The uh the chat is very behind. The chat is super behind. Alright, we're going to draw in some trees here. We're gonna keep it a purple background. Just for the sake of Sly Fox. Whenever I think of Sly Fox, I always think purple for some reason. Don't know why. Alright. We'll give this forest a little depth as well. So it won't be so flat. We're going to make this higher. Some skinny trees back there. And then we'll do like, um, like a dark, darker purple for the, for the top portion. Let's see. You forgot his ears. Whose ears? This fox? I forgot to color his ears. It's okay. It's totally okay. Oh, okay, so our light source is coming from that side. So it's going to be, the light is going to be in front of the trees, not behind the trees. So these are trees. Dum -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. All right. Just getting in a rough background. The foreground, let's see, what color should we have the ground that he's walking on? He could be walking on some grass. We could have him walking on some grass. We'll do that. We're just, I'm just dilladelling, dilladelling around. This kind of reminds me of the Cthulhu painting I did, the trees and stuff. It's totally okay, though. Totally okay. Uh, okay, we're going to add in some grass. We're going to add green. We're going to add a dark green. That's closer up here. Closer. So, we'll add a little bit of green. And it'll fade into the purple. So, just a tiny, tainty, tiny, tainty bit. There we go. And then we're going to blend it. remember how we blend we want this we don't want the background to be too overpowering we don't want the color to be to be bright I don't want the colors to be bright at all so um, <clears throat> I'm using very grayed out colors um, then we could even add little sh we can add shadows after but let's go ahead and work a little bit more up here We could, let's see, I don't know. Forest is cool, I was going to say. My comments are ignored, sad face. I'm sorry if I seem to be ignoring your comments, but I'm just trying to get as much work on, done on this as I can today. I, I kind of want to finish it. Um, and the, the, uh, the, the, the comments are kind of running really delayed. I don't know why. They're just more delayed today. Okay, I'm not going to work on the background anymore. We are going to start
coloring in everything. We're going to work out some details. We're going to hash out some details. I'm going to drink some coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mona B said write slide box above. I'm going to uh I'm going to write slide box above, but we're gonna add that after kind of we're gonna add what the heck, why you no work? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> we're gonna add that at the end. So it could kind of be like the finale. I added text and we are done type thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and work on his hoodie. We are going to the ears. Well, I'm going to use a different brush. This is going to be a really hard brush. The edge is very hard because um, we want hard edges. I'm going to turn off the underdrawing. I like the underdrawing. Well, we could probably add the underdrawing. Uh, we can move the layers. Like we can move the layer around. So. All right, so I am adding color now, and we're defining everything. We are making everything look how it's supposed to look in the final. So this needs to be darker. So we're just working out some details right now. All right, and we're let's let me try and look at the comments so we can. Okay, a lot of you are saying to draw heap. Epo and a shovel. Um, I don't want to draw Epo because uh, I want this to be about the director. I don't want it to be about what games he plays or the little slogans that he says um, because everyone really uh, bases their perception off of him. Ah! I don't want, you know, because slogans and games and everything change. There is a bug on my screen. Get out of here! Um, I want it to be pretty much timeless. So, uh, if you, we were to see this drawing again a couple years from now and say he doesn't play Minecraft anymore, people won't be like, there's a hippo in there. He doesn't even play Minecraft. <laughs> Which I don't know if, yeah, I'm not speaking for him. I don't know if he's, uh, going to play Minecraft forever, but, um, yeah, I want it to be about the director, not the games they play, and not the little slogans that he says right now. So, I want to get rid of this. We'll get rid of the underdrawing right now. And, um, there. These little ears. So, I'm going to blend this a little. Blendy. And I will add orange. This is a hoodie. We need to make it look like it's connected. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, I am just gonna color. I'm gonna get lost in this coloring world. Um, it's gonna be hard for me to look at comments. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to work on his hands. Because they're pretty flat right now. Okay. There's his hand. And then we'll grab this lighter color. And then we'll just blend it all. Like that. And you know, I think there needs to be a little shadow near the edge right here. There. Okay, that hand looks okay. Um, you guys want puppy nut, puppy <laughs> nurse, puppy cop, and puppy chef? Um, I don't know. We might be able to add them in the background, dancing in the background, or dancing like around him. But I don't know. I kind of just wanted to keep it the foxes. Keep those the little foxes. Okay. So I'm adding, uh, before I go into uh, blending and stuff, I'm adding the darker colors. 
because that's just easier for me. So here's his little zipper right there. This reminds me of Kenny from South Park. Uh, this will be darker here. Actually, mm, I think I can make it a little bit darker. Ah! We'll make it a little bit darker here. And we'll start to add some creases now. And we can add a little bit of creases there. And here is a crease. And this is his hoodie. There's a crease here. And there. I'm squinting a little. So I can get... Um, to try and, like, get the values right. Um, there will be a little bit of light on that arm. We can make the light a little more dramatic right there. We'll make it dark here, and we'll just blend it, and then we'll grab the dark color again, blend it up. Then we'll grab this orange, and we'll make it really bright on this part so we could see that the light captured the arm. We could actually, his arm is a little weirdly shaped. But just erase it, erase some of that off, and erase some of this off, and there's his arm, okay, I think I may have erased a little too much off the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead, we can even add, uh, let's add, add a little different color shadow, we'll add a little bit of purple, we'll add a little bit of purple, because he uh, is in a purple background, so the thing is, though, well, I guess it looks okay. We'll see. Okay. Now I can grab a thicker or a brush that isn't so soft. Let me just add more purple around here and darken this. There we go. We'll add purple in here too. Above this. There. Okay. Um, I guess we can we can work on this other arm. It doesn't look the same. <laughs> Looks like a totally different person's arm. Just so I know you're doing this from Sporkman1. He does. Him and I actually talked yesterday and I told him that I wanted him to, I was going to do an art of gaming for him because I've been getting a lot of requests for it. And I talked to him, asked him if he wanted anything in particular and we kind of talked over this idea. I gave him this idea that I had of him with a bunch of little foxes. And then he actually gave me the idea of um, adding a monocle and a mustache. And uh, we kind of were just bouncing ideas off of each other. I think the arm needs to be a little longer. So yes, he does know that I'm doing this. I'm not doing it as a creeper. <laughs> I'm not just doing it, you know, um, I let him know that I was doing it before. It wasn't kind of like, I'm going to do Slay Facts because I'm a humongous fangirl. <laughs> no, I I, uh, I did talk to him before, and um, he does know that I'm doing this. And I don't know if he's seen it so far. I think he's probably on a flight right now to Colorado, I think. Denver, I think, yeah. Um, I don't know what time his flight left or anything, but he's, I don't think he's here. So I don't know if he's seen it either. So we don't know what he thinks about this, but you know what? I really think he's going to like it because, I mean, it's kind of the way, he, he told me that he wanted me to, he didn't want to let, like, give me too much direction on it. He wants to see, like, 
because I we we do talk a lot and I do know him and um he told me that I do know him best so uh, I think what he wanted was me to capture his personality how I see it so um that's what I did because I didn't you know I didn't tell him like I didn't ask him what kind of style do you want me to do this in like what kind of cartoon do you want to look like you are kind of just doing it how I <laughs> how he, he looks in my eyes <laughs> and that's a crazy fox man <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, this is just um, my how my view as an artist so it, it may not look like him to some of you guys but you don't see him the way I see him, so if you get what I'm saying. Um, Alright, let's add some lighting. Put a secret in the drawing. What kind of secret? Like a like a kind of secret where you can just say like, I was there! There's a secret right there! What kind of secret? We could do that. That'd be, that'd be kind of fun to add like a little subliminal <laughs> secret message that only the people who are at the live stream know about what kind of secret can we do I mean I don't want to make it too obvious <laughs> too obvious but let's do a little fingers ah, little fingers I'm, lo I'm trying to read your comments ah alright let me it's so crazy to read these comments. They're just going way too fast for me to even read them. Alright, here's a little hand. Derp, derp, derpy hand. Derp, derp, derpy hand. There we go. And I'm going to darken this right here. And under there that works we'll add a little bit of shadow cool 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 whip cool whip and what I can add to let's add a little orangish what are you guys saying add a Pikachu in the background make a cookie monster <laughs> you know actually because um, the reason why I do these art of gamings is because I look at everyone's comments that they leave on the actual series and uh, one of the top uh, liked comments was to draw the creatures and I was thinking about it I was like I that would be a really good idea like I would really want to draw that but since this is the beginning, uh, this is kind of the the first drawing of the new uh, season. I didn't want to do something too crazy and then have to like up it. Cause if I do the creatures, like um, it'd be super awesome, and then I just feel like whatever I do next would have to be even better and better and better. And it just it would just have started off too too crazy. So uh, I. I wanted to do something awesome. I wanted to start off with something big, so I decided to do slime. And I think that this is going to look just as awesome. But the thing is, the more things that are in the drawing, too, the longer it'll take, the crazier to get. So let's uh, let's see. Let's change my brush. Oops. I'm gonna add the little little things little jacket thing it's gonna be hanging here and then we'll add another one here just for extra extra stuff and then I'm gonna highlight it there we go and highlight this one there we go. So there's these little jacket thingies. Let me grab this color and draw a little darker on this side. Make the edge um, 
harder. It's a little soft edge right now. Okay. <clears throat> I'll add this. I think what I have is too much purple on this. So let's get rid of some purple. <laughs> when I draw this, I totally picture Sly Fox's voice saying, Hi! So that's what you guys could just picture. <laughs> that's what you guys can picture when I'm drawing this. Okay. Okay. Why are you doing that? Okay. So, there's his little sweater. Now we can work on his pants. Secret cupcake. I had a secret cupcake in here somewhere. That'd be kind of cool. A slender man. Let me get some let me get some coffee. Mmm. My coffee is cold. Mwah. Someone says cupcake, you should draw the outsiders. I will. Um what I'm actually gonna do. Okay, come on. Work, work, work. Why is it okay? What I'm going to do is uh I'm going to switch off. I I want to do more director stuff this season. That's one of the new things that is going to be added is I'm going to collaborate more. Not really collaborate. I'm going to uh, do more directors. <laughs> that sounds totally bad. I'm going to draw more desktops for the directors. So what it's going to be is every other week is going to be a director. So that's that's my little kind of goal. Is every other week will be a director. Um, and we'll switch it out between directors and gaming. So... Uh, because I don't want to get into a pattern of just doing, uh, just drawing directors, just drawing games. I want to switch it up, keep you guys on your toes. Um, but that was my plan to switch out, to switch out uh, directors and games, directors and games. So that's what I'm planning on doing. We're making a little hole in his pants. Let's darken this. We could even add a texture on his pants. If I want to, to, if I want to. We can do that after, though. Alright, so I'm just darkening this, adding some light. The light will actually stop around here. It won't be as bright. And we can do this. There we go. Here we go. Okay, let's work a little on his... What do we need to work on? That's his pants. Let's... Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Um, Put Ippo hiding behind the trees. I'll do my ch signature after. Someone said to do, to do Chimney Swift. Definitely will be doing Chimney. All of your... Like, if you guys have suggestions um, of stuff that you want me to draw... Leave it in the uh, in the actual video. Let's see. How does the foxtail? Do foxtails have little whites on the end? I think they do. I'm looking at my little foxtail in the back right here that I got from uh, E3. We'll go ahead and add a little white to the edge of the tail. And this is a little foxtail. So let's work a little on this. And we're gonna make it look like fur. So I'll show you guys a fur trick right now. We still need to have some darker colors. So we'll put like this shadow under here. We just wanna get the value right before we start going into uh, making it look like fur. Okay, uh, let's grab this color. What you got saying? Yeah, Peba. Okay, these are some of the ones that I have in mind. I was thinking of doing we could even do the creatures separate, like Gassy, Nova, Kutra, Seamus. All of them could have a separate one. We can do each separate outsider, or we could do a group one together. Um, we can do um, Captain Sparkles, Sea Nanners, even I would love to do one for respawn, uh, uh, like Sark, uh, Sark Nanners and uh, Hutch, all together. I think that'd be awesome. 
just a, anything. I, I did one for Realm for Christmas. Uh, it was really cute. But, um, the, the, <laughs> you know, it's pretty limitless is what I want to keep it. I, I don't know. I think it's really cool to think about too. Okay, wait, is that good enough? Let's zoom out here. That lighting looks okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some more coffee. I think I like it with him with a white tail. Another one of you guys said Amp Venom. Awesome. Yes. So many. There's so many directors. That's why I kind of wanted to bring them into the mix too as well. Uh, work. Work. I wanted to bring directors in to uh, this series. Why is this not working? Why are you not working? You're making me sad. Are you working now? E. B. There we go. It's acting up. It's acting weird. Um, I wanted to bring directors into this because it's, uh, like I'll never run out of ideas. I'll never run out of ideas of what to do. Okay. Oh, why is this acting so weird? Ugh. Okay. So let me add a little bit more white to the tail. There. Okay, now I'm going to blend it. So let's get this blending going. And then after we're done with that, I'll do some fur. So the way that I do fur, is this the right one? I use the smudge tool. And uh, let me just show you what it does. Smudges. You can see it. Oh, wow, that was a big smudge. <laughs> it smudges. Uh, kind of makes it look like fur. So not just all the colors that you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the brush smaller and I have it on 100% strength. <clears throat> we're going to zoom into his tail and then we're just going to smudge. We're just going to make it look like uh, random little fur sticking out. And I like to br go in both ways to bring in the purple and the orange mix them together so just kind of going back and forth back and forth back and forth and we're doing fur that's how that's how I do all my fur um, this is how I did the hair actually this is really good for hair too that's how I did hair for Lux if you guys remember I did a neon cat Lux this is how I did her hair so let's blend in this one as well Actually, we're not, since the background and the, we're not grabbing any of the background color. So we could, we could actually do that after. Since the background and the, um, the actual colors on slide are on a different layer, we're only grabbing the, the oranges. So... It's okay though. We're we're cool. It looks fine like this. Okay. So there is his fur. I think we'll add a little more inside of here. But that looks pretty furry to me. I don't know about you guys, but that looks like fur. I think what we need to do is add a little bit dark a little darker so we can grab like this color we can grab this color we can just get a brush a hard brush and then we can do a few strokes like this and then what we'll do is get the smudge tool again and smudge it smudge 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 smudge, smudge, smudge like this no, I don't like the way that looks. We did it a little sloppy. We have to make sure to... Are we, are we using the brush still? Why are we not using the smudge tool? Don't know why. That was not the smudge tool. Smudge tool. There you go. There we go. That's working. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so I'm just, I just added a little more darkness to the under portion of his tail, and I'm just smudging it. Smudging it. I guess it's kind of like blending it, but... And there is his tail. So we can zoom out. Check out how his tail looks. It looks very furry. That looks awesome. Why is my tablet not working? Work! Scribble, 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 scribble. Why aren't you working? Let me stop recording. I think it may be... Oops. Oh, wait. Let's try this. B. Brr. I think... F9. I think what may be happening is I may be getting... There we go. I may be getting a little bit of lag from the actual recording. Why are you... Okay, there we go. There we go. It's working. That's a really nice drawing. I wish I could do something as good as that. You could. You could. It just t takes a lot of practice. Um, and along with the practice is a lot of frustration that you have to work through and um, but don't wish that you can do something like this because you you can um, it's just a matter of doing it okay so I'm just darkening that looks weird I'm darkening the the creases on this there we go cool all right. Cool. So I think we finished his jacket. What I want to do is I want to add a little bit more fur up here. So um, again, I'll use the smudge tool. Smudge tool. And just add fur to the little ears. So we want it to look a little furry. Um, We'll add a little coming out up here as well. And then what I want to do is add a little bit of white to the ears too. Just to make it pop a little more. So there's his ears. And then we're going to add some white. Let's add like some white like this. We'll add a little bit here too. And we'll use a smudge tool and then smudge it. Smudge, smudge. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That looks cool. I like that. Okay. Cool. He's fur. He's furry. Sweet. Okay, I hairy ears. <laughs> now we can work on the actual foxes. We're going to make the foxes, see how furry his tail looks right here? We're going to make all the foxes look like that. Um, I think it would create some really cool contrasts. Um, do all foxes have that white tip? Let me look up. Oh, someone said a girl fox. We can do that. We can add a girl fox. We'll just add a little bow onto her so it's a girl because I know all of these, I guess, look like males. So let's actually go look up a fox and see how their tails look. Some of them have black on the tips and some of them have white. Huh. I guess we can have a mixture. It doesn't all have to be the same, right? So... Um, let me go back to the stream. Uh, what tablet are you using? I'm using the Wacom, the Wacom Intuos 3. Okay. What about their ears? Are all of their ears the same too? No. Some of their ears have black tips. We'll give this one, this little fox right here, some black tips on his ears. Okay. So, let's start coloring the foxes, changing my layers. We're going to use a different brush. And this one has black tips. And then we'll use orange again. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And then a little lighter orange for the inside. 
there. All right, so there's his little ears. Up here is where the light is hitting it, so we're going to add a little bit of dimension here. So let's blend this here. This is where the light is hitting it. I am just going to go, like, um, I want to get this done, so I'm just going to go. <laughs> We're just going. We're not waiting for nobody. Okay, so now what I want to do is grab a better orange. You guys are going to just see me work. I'm just going to go. I'm just going. All right, then we'll blend this, and I'll just basically talk over what I'm doing. Um, we'll grab this orange, get a darker orange, add it here and here, and on this side of his face, and right here on his nose, and on this side of his body, under here, his little hands, his little feet. And the underside of his bum, darker, right here. And then I can add a little bit of white, just a tiny bit. And his, he's going to have a little bit of white fur right here too. We'll even give him some white right here. Okay. And then we're going to blend this. Let's grab this color, blend it out all around the tummy, grab this, blend it, blend it, blend, and around. There we go. Little white tummies. And just, just so it can look cute, we'll add a little ray of light right here that's hitting his tummy directly. Then we can move to the tail, and it's dark under here. Bum. Yes, I said bum. And we're going to add some shadow here. We'll give him, we won't give him a white tail. We'll just leave the tail uh, furry. And we can add, I think he's a little too dark. We're going to have to brighten him up a little. Oops, add some white on his little paws. I mean, some orange. Orange here. Orange right here. Orange there. And along the side of his body. There is orange. All right, and we'll add some orange right here as well. Okay just making his tail seem a little dimensional and then we'll even darken a, a little bit under where his bum is too so darker down here and under here on his tail to the dark side something 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 dark side okay now we'll smudge it so I'm going to smudge you so good. Okay, there. There we go. Stern smudge his little whiskers. And we'll smudge this side. And we'll smudge his little ears too. We'll give him like tiny little furs that come out of his ears. Like this. And then he'll have little hair that sticks out of his ears, too. Okay. A little bit of fur up here. Keep it furry. <laughs> his hands don't need to be furry, and neither does his body. So only his tail and his face. And smudge it. Smudge the tail. And there it's starting to look like fur. Let's do it right here too. And then what after we're done with this smudging on the tail, we'll add light color too. 
and then we'll smudge that as well. So we're smudging inside too because there's not only fur on the edge. I love the smudge tool. <laughs> All right. I think what we need to do is add darker colors too. So let's make this brighter. And darker. We'll, and then we'll smudge it again. Smudge! Uh, someone asks, what program am I using? I'm using Photoshop CS5. Adobe Photoshop CS5. Okay. Okay, and then we can add, let's grab this color and make it lighter. Change our brush, smaller, and we'll add little strands of fur right here that are lighter. And then we're gonna smudge those as well. So let's lighten up this, this, his tummy a little. And then we'll smudge. Smudge. Mm, there's a tail. That tail looks a little weird. Let's turn off the... Okay, the tail needs... It's too crazy. We're going to have to erase some of this. So we'll just make it like... Like that. That looks okay. Make it like that. And then we'll just smudge this again, the edges, so it doesn't look so perfect. Yeah, that tail was like all over the place. <laughs> all right, so there's the tail, and I will start working a little bit on the tummy. Let's get my favorite brush, number 27. and start working the tummy. So there's the tummy. You know what we can do too is start working... I need to drink coffee. We need coffee! Mmm. Oh my gosh! Cold coffee! That should be like iced coffee. Okay, come on. Sometimes it doesn't work and it just, I don't know what the heck. My uh, tablet sometimes freaks out. I'm going to unplug it and then plug it back in. Are you working now? Oh no, Ruby! Ruby's mad! Okay, let's stop recording this. See if it works. Is it working? It's not working. My tablet's not working. Oh, there it goes. Okay. V, F9. Let's see. Okay. We got it working again. Okay, so I'm going to work a little on the face. And what I can do is add a little bit of white here. Um, and black for the nose. Look right here, and then the eyes, darkening them, and we'll add shine to the eyes too. So we'll grab this, I want to make it darker, I want to make it darker on this edge. Squinting. There. And then we can uh, smudge it, smudge this. Could smudge this too. A little bit of this. I don't like that. I don't like that smudged. And you know what? I don't like this either. So we're just gonna color over it. Looks like a bald spot. <laughs> okay, I wanna erase this a little. There we go. And 
add some solids. So let's grab a solid brush and add a little shine in the eye. Cuteness and a little shine on the nose. And some, we can even add like little, like that. That's cute. And let's grab the orange. We want it to be brighter. And we'll add a brighter, solid line to the face right here and around the eyes to make them look like they're sticking out. There. A more solid line here. And I think we're done with the fox. Or actually, we'll just add solid line down here too. Right here. You know what we need to work on is the cape. So that's the face of a fox. Let's work on the cape a little. The cape is going to be a darker red. Um, let me save it. Control save. And we'll do darker red under here. Darker on this side, it has to be darker. There's more light shining through on the other portion, so. Okay, and then we can even grab a darker red and go under here. Like this. There. Cool whip. We'll add even a brighter red to the edge. Like that. And even right here. So cool. You know what we need to do is I need to clean up some of these lines because I want some of these lines to show but not all of them. So like uh, this I don't want to show. Oops. Erase. I don't want this to show. Don't want these lines to show. I want them to have a clean little face. Clean little whiskers. Clean arms. And I don't know what this is. Here. That, <clears throat> that shouldn't be there. This shouldn't be there. That shouldn't be there. And the outline of the cape is a little out of control. Okay. I think it's cool to leave some of the original drawing in, but not all of it. Definitely not all of it in this case. So we can even erase some of the tail right here. We can actually erase all of the tail. Here we go. There. That looks cool. I'll erase the tummy too. And there's a first fox. We're done with the first fox. <laughs> I see a lot of people, uh, barely found out that we're live streaming on YouTube now. It's a new feature. Not everybody has it. I think they're just like testing it out. Um, but 
Now we can work on the troll. La, 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 la. We'll give him white tail, regular ears. Dang it, I hate when my stupid tablet. Oh, there it goes. It's working. Okay. Let's work on the white troll. I mean, the white troll. The white tailed troll. Alright, so let's get the brush. White. We're going to make white on his tail. Like that. Grab some darker, lighter and darker oranges. Lighter for the top portion. And his ear. Lighter for this side. And lighter right here. Okay, then let's grab some darker. Darker for the hands. Darker for the under part of his belly. He's not going to have a white belly. Darker for the feet. Darker for the back leg. Darker for the underside of the tail. And we can just color the troll face white for now. Let's see. We could just make it a white troll mask. Like a pure white. Some of it. We could add some highlights onto it. We could do that. So we'll add some highlights on the nose. And on the cheek and the eye. And this right here so make it look like a mask like that on the cheek and that should be enough for now we could even add some here I think that's okay we'll add a little on chin there okay the troll <laughs> um, and then we'll add a little darker orangey. Well, it looks like a brown. And we're gonna do the ears. And here's his ear. We'll give him brown ears. And actually, we'll give him a little bit of fur on his chest. It's a hairy troll. <laughs> Alright, let me grab this. We'll make this darker so we can get the idea that it's behind. Like that. And this one is behind as well, so darker. And we'll could darken this a little. Alright. We'll light up his whole head like that. Okay, so let me go in and erase a little bit of the the line. Don't want it too sloppy looking. Let's erase some of this. And get some black. Get a solid brush and make the mask portion. He's wearing a mask. And we could even darken the troll. Okay. Now we can add a little bit of darker color to the ear. We'll need some brown or something. Okay. I'm trying to. Sorry if I'm neglecting you guys. Uh. I want to. Cupcake, I am wanting to start some speed art. How do you do yours? So what I do is I use Photoshop to paint. And I just record the whole process with fraps. Then I take it into my editing program. I use um, Adobe uh, Premiere. And I speed it up to about... So it's like about a minute. Not a minute. Three minutes two to three minutes long because uh, I don't want to bore people then uh, it's usually I want to say 3,000 times sped up so um, 
yeah and then I just export it and add music to it and that's it it's easy as that easy as that so let me add a little more shadow to him and we can even go darker don't be scared to go darker we'll add darkness on the feet around here we could add darkness down here and on his bum on your bum bum and around this portion and there a lot of darkness here cool so there is my other fox now all we have to do is smudge 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 Oh, Jesus, that's not smudging. <laughs> that's a brush. Okay. Cup quick, your audio. What's wrong with my audio? <laughs> Is it just me talking? Because that's all I have. I can't have any music playing because of copyright stuff. I wish I could, but I can't. Usually when I'm painting, I have um, music playing. It kind of gets me working faster and pumps me up <laughs> but I can't have it playing during the live stream so that's what I'm kind of just talking trying to have some sort of noise going on even if it's just me talking to myself I need some sort of noise okay so here's the tail 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 smudge 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 <laughs> if that's if you're wondering why she is just talking stupid nonsense because I need noise <laughs> okay so there's the tail we'll add a little bit of fur on the ears fuzzy ears we'll add we'll even make his ears furry there we go so there's another fox we don't get to see his face he's a troll fox so there's the troll all right I think I want to erase a little bit off of the tail again, the, the harsh lines, because I like really soft fluffiness tails, and we have a line here that does not look right. Here. There. Okay. And let's smudge again. Right here. Oh, wrong layer. There, he has a fur chest. You have a furry chest. Okay. There. Troll Fox should have a pimp cane. <laughs> Alright, so let me save this again. And now we're going to work on this little fox right here. So we could give this fox a black tail. Yes. I think we'll give this one a black tail. We'll do that. No, stop it. No, it's not where I, oh, Jesus. Why you gotta pop up here? No. Okay, let's try and get my tablet to work again. I just have to, there it goes. It's working. Okay. Cupquake, what did you choose for your subjects when you were in high school? I'm choosing mine soon and it will be interesting to know what you choose. Like, I don't, I don't know. I had all throughout high school. I, I totally that that was a while ago. <laughs> I think I had like, I don't know. I was in sports a lot, so I didn't do any PE. I never taken one PE class in my life. I was always in sports. Uh, I took an art class my senior year. That's when I started really taking art seriously, was in my senior year. Um, I think I was like an assistant for the office or something. So, yeah. Um, I know I took chemistry and I failed. That was my first F. <laughs> Didn't take biology. Well, I think I took like a year or so in biology. I don't even know. Um... I don't remember, honestly. It was a while ago. But I, I do remember that I was in a lot of 
sports. Okay. Uh, okay, we're gonna make this one darker and this one darker. This one can have a little lightness on it because it's closer to us. And this is closer to us too. We can make his head like that and we can even make this one a little lighter. We'll make this one a little lighter. We can't keep all of the colors too consistent. So let's see. This this one's really cute, so we'll keep it light. And here's a little tail. Alright, and then let's grab a darker color for the undersides. Have you been drawing your whole life? Question mark. Like, was it something that you used to do by yourself? It was. I don't remember exactly when I started, but it was something that I did by myself. It started off with me and my brother just drawing like what we used to do. I'd, we would play this game where uh, one of us would draw like a squiggly line on a paper and then give it to the other person and then we would have to draw something out of that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we would play that game a lot and then uh, I really like drawing and I used to really love coloring. <laughs> I used to color all the time. Uh, had so many coloring books like the princess coloring books, the Hello Kitty coloring books and stuff like that. I used to draw all and color all the time. Um, then I, in high school, I started to really draw, uh, I used to like drawing stuff from magazines. So what I would do would I was try and find a picture of like a girl's face, uh, like a makeup article or something, or like I liked her hair or something. I would, tr uh, pull that out of the magazine and draw it, try and draw it like fr from the picture. Um, and then I think that's when I realized that I really liked it. And that's when I, and that's when I took an art class in high school. And then that's when my, uh, professor or my professors, that's when my teachers, um, you know, were giving me a lot of, like, they realized or they seen that I had talent, I guess. And they started to push me to actually do art. And that's when I decided, like, that's when I decided, you know, I'm going to go to college for art. So after I graduated, after taking one class, one art class in high school, I decided that I wanted to study art. So um, luckily my parents were supportive of me. And uh, my dad always said, you know, as long as you get a degree, like, just please just get a degree. Don't stop going to school because once you stop, you'll it, it'll be so hard to go back. So um, they were just happy that I was going to get a degree. So um, I went to school for that. I went to a junior, not a junior college, uh, like community college. I went to one in Pasadena and um, studied there for three years. Then I transferred to a university and I went there for two years. And that's how my little art career <laughs> started. All right, let's go ahead and finish this little dude. We are going to blend or get the smudge tool. So yeah, um, I, oh wait, what are we doing? We have to do this one. I, uh, I always, you know, had something for art. I didn't realize that I was going to make a career out of it or a living out of it till, uh, my, even in, even in college, um, my first year of college, I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not, I, I went and I originally was going to go for business. And then I took a business class and was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> like, there's no way I'm doing this. Um, and then, then I talked to my parents and I was like, you know what? I, I think I want to do art. And that's when they were like, okay, just, you know, just get a degree, whatever. Um, so sophomore year of college was when I, when I, when I really focused on art. Cause I, as a freshman in, in college, I was still, you know, undecided. I was just, I didn't know what to do. I seriously, yeah, I, I don't think any freshman in college really knows what they want or what they're doing. They're just kind of taking the general stuff. But, um, 
that's how I started. I've always loved it. I've always had a passion for it, but I never, never really thought about having it as a career until I was older. It's kind of crazy. You know, I would never, th it's funny because a lot of people, a lot of uh, parents promote like, why don't you be a business major or why don't you go to law school or become a doctor? It's like the main, the main things that take a lot of schooling that successful people have. I mean, you could be a successful artist and actually, why is that? Wait, how is the ear look? It's back like this. I think it looks like that. Um, like to be a successful at anything you, you, and you don't have to go with the crowd. You don't, I mean, that's where I think you become the most successful is when you kind of just do what you love and you don't just go do something because that's what someone expects out of you or because that's, that's what makes you successful in other people's eyes. It's really about yourself and you have to be happy. Oops, I erased his eye. You have to be happy with yourself and do what really makes you happy because you do not want to go through law school and be miserable, not liking your job. And that's, that's probably the worst is just not liking your job. You want to love your job. You don't want it to be a job. You want it to be, you know, a career, something fun, something that you look forward to. That's what, it doesn't make it a job to do. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the eyes. The eyes are what really makes this cute. So let's grab a different brush. It's a sad one. He's sad. Oh, he looks so cute. I like him. Let's erase this. Okay, and we'll get the white. Put a little light. Right. Ooh, I zoomed in a little too much. So there is the little, little other fox. Okay, my hand is starting to hurt. Save. I'm saving. Drinking. Oh no! There's no more! <laughs> There's no more coffee! We're going to die! Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to look at this. Um, Cupquake, were you popular when you were younger? Because you seem really awesome. I wish you were my friend in high school. Um, I guess I was popular. Um, I didn't have like, because I know in, in high school there's a lot of cliques. I wasn't really part of any group. Okay, I'm going to make the gentleman fox. We'll make the gentleman fox's tail black. And let's actually redo this. So we'll make his tail like that. So in high school, um, there are a lot of cliques. And I, uh, when I was in, from like fourth to fourth to eighth grade I went to a private school and it was a very 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 small school um, probably about 30 people per class like uh, like grade class like and you would grow up with these people so everybody knew everybody um, there were no real cliques everyone was friends so and uh, when I went to high school it was public school um, I hadn't been to a public school in a while since I was, I, I went to a public school from kindergarten through third grade, but that's all that I knew of public school. Um, and, uh, when I came from eighth grade, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't used to not knowing everybody. It was just so weird. Many people, it was just crazy. Um, I had probably, I didn't have, I wasn't in a clique. I had probably this one girl that I would hang out with and it, I would hang out a lot with with guys. I would hang out a lot with the football players. Freshman year, I was really like 
I had cut my hair really short, so it was probably two inches long. And then I had these little bangs that swooped across my face, and I used to spike my hair. I used to with everybody, and I didn't really, uh, I didn't really stick to one group of friends. I had this like one girl that uh, we would we would rock around together and do that. But, um, I guess I was pop. I don't know if I was popular. I don't even know what, I don't know. I don't think I was, but, uh, yeah, I sophomore year and I was in a lot of sports too. So that really helped me get to know a lot of people, uh, cause you connect with them. And if you're looking to meet new friends and stuff, and if you're if you're having trouble, you know, finding friends or whatever, I would say join a sport, because you'll be around these people. I mean, even if it's, I when I first freshman year, I was in cross country, and um, track and field, and then uh, I was like sophomore year, I was in volleyball, cross country. Uh, swimming and then junior year I went into water polo and then my senior year I was just so lazy I was just I just totally dropped sports my senior year which is which was bad my coaches were so mad at me because uh I was in like a relay team on on swimming and everything and um we had made it to it's this thing called CIF it's like the best like you have to make certain times and as the relay team like we made those times tw two years in a row so my coaches were super mad at me for dropping and dropping water polo too I was captain of the team and I just decided you know what I want to go home and play video games <laughs> instead <laughs> that's basically what happened was I started playing wow again and I was just like you know what I don't need to be in sports I'm already done with it I'm just gonna go home I want to go home after lunch or, or go home after fifth period and um uh, just chill i used to get out of school senior year at one o'clock and just go home and play video games that's what i did that's what we do that's what we do that's what i did but um i don't really i didn't really consider myself popular i did run for homecoming queen and i was a princess i was out of all the people that ran, I was top five. So, but I blame that on me knowing a lot of people. I don't think it was popularity. So let's go ahead and blend this little fox right here. But you know what? I don't even, I don't know. I'm not one for popularity. It's like, it's just gossip. All, all high school is, is gossip. And, um, in reality, high school is nothing. Nothing, really. I mean, it's it's good to... It, it's good for training, I guess. But t not to bring you down or anything, you have to do everything all over in college again for it to even matter. Unless you take, like, these AP classes that count towards college. So... But you have to do it. Something that we have to do as a society, I mean, I guess... I don't know. I know a lot of people, I'm not telling you guys to drop out of high school, but I know of a lot of successful people who did not finish high school. So it's crazy what society really tells us you need to do in order to be successful, which is totally not true. But I wouldn't count on winning the lotto and having a lot of money. So it'd be a good idea to finish school. I finished school. Um, and I'm glad I did because I got to meet a lot of cool people and I had a lot of fun experiences. That's It was fun. And now I'm an adult. Okay, here's Monocle Cat. High school is nothing? No, high school is not nothing. I mean, take everything I'm saying is just my opinion. Um, it's not nothing. You learn a lot. I mean, it's basically you growing and... Um, it's really, oh wait, I'm on the wrong layer. Oh no! What did I do? Oh no! No, we're, we're okay. Okay, is that cool? Is that cool? There, okay. 
Um, yeah. I'm not saying high school is nothing. I'm just saying you have to do it all over again in college. That really made me mad when I found out. Because I didn't know this. Uh, when I was in high school, I didn't know that I had to take everything over in college. Okay, hold on one second. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yes, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> All right. Let us continue. We're almost done. <laughs> All right. Okay, someone asks, what do you tell people that are insecure? Because I'm like dot, 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 a little chubby, you know? Um, to be honest, ah, why isn't this working anymore? Ah, ding. Oh, there it goes. Yay. Okay. Um, honestly, if you're insecure, that's totally normal. Uh... To be honest with you, I think everybody has a little bit of insecurity about themselves. Um, even the prettiest girls you know are probably insecure about themselves. And uh, to be honest, I think I'm a little chubby and I think I, I'm a little insecure about that. But to be able to confront your insecurities is the best thing you could probably do. Know what is bothering yourself and fix it. I mean, if you're, if you don't, if you don't, if you think you're a little chubby, then, you know, stop drinking soda or, uh, cut back on soda or work out. Um, it really bothers me when someone knows that there's a problem and they don't fix it. So, I mean, you can do something about it if you're not comfortable with the way you look or any, uh, like body weight wise, um, there's, there's always something you can do, but it's just a matter of, are you going to do it? But just to make you feel better, like there are a lot of people out there who have insecurities and you're not the only one. So you are not alone. <laughs> okay. Let's get this fur going. I need to erase a little bit of this right here. It's too black there okay uh, let me work a little on his top hat and let me see what you guys are saying someone says I'm not chubby uh, someone else says no you're not chubby and someone says a little chub oh man I didn't get to read it dang it something about a little chub on a girl and then I didn't get to finish it <laughs> um yeah, I mean, everyone has different preferences, so, I mean, to you guys, you guys might think I'm not chubby, but to me, I think I'm, I have a little pound, a little extra pounds that I could lose, or whatever, um, but I'm not, you know, starving myself over it, I love to eat, and I know one thing, eating and food, like chocolate, and, um, bread, those are like my favorite things to eat. Those make me so happy. <laughs> like when I'm in a really sad mood um, or just not feeling well, I'll be like, you know what? I need to treat myself. I'm having a Coca-Cola. <laughs> like uh, it's always good to indulge in the things that you love. And, you know, why not? Don't torture yourself. I... Um, you only live once and you might as well enjoy your life, but not too much. Cause you don't want to be like too heavy overweight. 
Because that's bad. Here's his little top hat. Okay, let's do his... His little eyeballs. I'm a monocle. I have a monocle and I have the hiccups. <laughs> little fox with a monocle. Oh man, what the heck? Why isn't... Is this part of... Oh, it is. Let's erase this. No! No! Or let's just draw on top of it. Oh, shoot. Okay. There. There we go. He has a monocle. I'm gonna go ahead and smudge this a little. Or actually, let's just add a little... Whoop. Shoop, doop, 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 doop. And then we'll smudge it. And here. I have a monocle and a top hat. Smudging. Now. Yay. Okay. Oh, we need to add a little. Oh, went too soon. We need to add a little bit of sparkle to his eyes. We'll add a little on his nose, too. There he is. This is adorable. He's adorable. I like him. He's probably my favorite one. Uh, we can erase this, though. Ah! No! 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 Why is he doing that? Oh, we're brush. We're on a brush, not a race. There. Okay. And we have one more little fox to go. And then we can add shadow and everything like that. All that great stuff. So. He's cute, isn't he? He's adorable. I like him. I like him. Alright, we'll have this last fox have a white tail. And he is the... The artistic or the smug homie. What the heck, Pen? Come on. What the heck? What the heck? Why is it this working? Dang it. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works now. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna scribble. Oh, there it goes. Hooray! Alright. Let's do... Wow, it's already gonna be four? Oh my god. Okay. Someone says, remember guys, whatever people say, nobody is, ah, dang it, no, I want to read that one. Let me scroll down. Nobody are better, nobody is better than you. I love all you guys. You are all amazing. Oh, that is so nice. That's from Joe Rita 3 You are all amazing. Just remember that. I mean, I don't want to sound cheesy. But it's so true. Everyone has something special about themselves. And it's just a matter of finding it. Whether it be art, music, just a personality to make people happy. Everybody has something awesome about them. A talent. I really do believe that. And you know what? Art, I really don't think that art is... Uh, a natural born given talent. I really think that anybody can do this. Um, it's just a matter of practice. Anybody can do it. It just takes practice. If you guys were to see the first stuff that I did as an artist, uh, and I thought it was good when I first did it, <laughs> You guys would just laugh, and probably some of you, um, ha like, at this point, are probably better than I was when I first started. Nobody, it doesn't come naturally to anybody, so don't be discouraged. It's just a matter of pushing through and doing it. So here lies 
a smug fox. <laughs> we'll give him, what color ears should we give him? I guess we can give him like little white ear tips. I don't know if they have white tips, but we'll give him, we'll give him one because nobody else has them. All right. And then we can go ahead, grab this color and get a darker. Ah, that's too dark. Okay, there. There. <laughs> okay. Order, ordering a monocle off Amazon because of your gentleman box. <laughs> Okay, if you're really ordering a monocle off of Amazon, I want to see you send a tweet a picture to me of you in a monocle. <laughs> in a monocle and make your gentleman fox face. I think that would be so cool. I've never seen a monocle in real life. Maybe I should get one. <laughs> a gentle Oh, you know what? Do I need to make a girl one? I need to make a girl fox. Because we have some females out there too. We can't forget the girls. I'm going to erase the feet showing through here. There we go. And let's blend this right here. Okay. I'm going to blend this down. And grab this. Put it on the darker edge. And... We'll make the inside of his ears lighter, like a pinky, pinky-ish. Cool. All right, now I can, let's, let's erase a little. Oh no, where is this? Oh no, we're on the wrong layer again. Wah, I hate when that happens. Poopsicle. Poopsicle. That's one thing you have to be careful. Let me save this saving okay what are you guys saying hi tiff i want to be a singer people have told me i got talent but i lost a friend to medial singing what do i do you i don't know i don't know what medial singing is but um if that's really your passion i would say do it if you really love singing, do it. Uh, it's sad, but I mean, there are some people in this world, even if they're your friends now, they don't like to see other people succeed and they don't like to support. So, I mean, that's kind of, you could tell who your true friends are if they are supportive of you, even if it's in competition with them. But I mean, if you lost a friend over singing, I don't know why you would, because I don't know, they were jealous or something. I don't know. Um, then they weren't really your friend. Oh, shoot. We're using brush. Ah, okay. Smudge, smudge. Is this the right layer? I hope it is. No, no, this is the right one. Here we go. Smudge, 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 smudge. Um, la la la. La! It's so much stuff. I want to be an art teacher. Because of you, Tiff a J. That's awesome. If you want to be a teacher, that is really awesome. That is something that I do not have patience for. I One of my flaws is I need to learn some patience. Like, even Red knows this. Um, he is the patient one in our relationship. I need him to, t to teach me patience because I don't have that. That is something I don't have. Give him a little bit of fur. Fur! Okay, let me... Let's do his eyes. Do do. Oh, no! No! We'll have to do it on this layer. What? Oh no, we're using the smudge. Derp. Derp. Let's use this other brush. This one. Eyeball. 
Ei Ball. Ei Ball. Okay. Let's fix his mustache a little too. We'll make it darker. And add some white here and there. There. Okay. What's this? I want to erase this line a little bit over here. There we go. You know what I want to do too? So I want to grab this lighter color and I'm going to put it around his eyes. Around his eyes. So it looks like he has a little socket. And this one too. Like that. And then I'll grab this darker color and we can put it. I don't like the way that looks. We'll put it like right here. No, I don't like that. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's zoom out. Let's see what we have here. We have some foxes. Let's see. Should we add one more fox? I really don't know what what uh, style like we can have it. What is she going to be doing? What is We need to add a girl. So what is the girl going to be doing? She's going to have a bow. We could probably add her like right here. What can she do? Help me out, guys. Let me put some chapstick on. Okay. Whoa, crazy! Ah! Let's see. I'm reading this. Someone asks the question, when was your heart fro first broken? Um, my heart was first broken, um, sophomore year of high school. <laughs> I had a boyfriend, uh, we were together for 11 months and then he cheated on me and I was heartbroken and, uh, he denied everything, but I knew that he was lying. So yeah, I am so glad that he cheated on me though because it uh, made me into the person I am today I really don't have any regrets in life because I mean they're all learning experiences as long as you learn from them you shouldn't really regret stuff that you've done unless unless you've like killed somebody <laughs> that is something to regret yeah, that's kind of wrong, but, uh, yeah, it's just stuff like that growing, uh, stuff like, like that, um, I don't regret mo most of the, de some, all of the decisions that I made in high school, um, cause it helped me grow into the person that I am and that's, that's why I am the way I am today. So life is all a humongous learning experience. Because, you know, we're all here, like, on this world, not knowing what the hell we're doing. <laughs> and just trying to survive. Okay. La -la -la -la. I'm just cleaning this up. I'm waiting. Let's see. Oh, it still hasn't updated. Okay, so I guess what I can do now is just add some shadows under the little foxes. We can add shadows to give them a space. Um, let's grab this color and we'll add shadows. What? What? Updating. What? Blah. 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 It's updating way too fast. Man. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's make shadow. Shadow, shadow. We'll make a new layer and we'll put this under. So. Do, 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 do. You know what? I don't like that color. I'm going to put. Na, 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 na
then this fox has a shadow and then this one was flying so we'll put a shadow right here for her him you know what I could probably just add a bow onto one of these foxes can't I can I wouldn't that still count fangirl homie <laughs> um, this one's trotting so she's gonna be like in the air or he is gonna be in there and then this one sitting. So he's like that. Cool. Cool. Lul, lul, lul. Let me go ahead. Erase this. Should I just put a bow in one of their hair? I would picture this one to be the girl. The, the one that's really cute. <laughs> I think I will put a bow in that one. Let's see. Climbing up his leg. That would be cute. <laughs> but why would the girl be climbing up his leg? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add this one as a girl. Because I don't want to add too, too many foxes. Not too many. We're going we're gonna to just add a bow on this one. So let's get a pink bow, just so people know, hey, that's a girl. I'm going to add this on another layer just in case I don't like it. So we'll put a little bow. We're going to shape it like this. Like that. That's the shape of the bow. And then we'll get darker colors. And do this. There's a bow in her hair. Okay, let's reshape it a little. Looks very flat. Looks like it's like flat on her <laughs> head. So let's change that. Let's add some highlighting. Why is it like that? I think this. We need to erase whatever's in here. Okay. We can, we can, uh, uh, shoot. Transform this a little. Like that. And erase a little more right here. Add a little more pink. Let's add it like a white. And like this. And then like this. And then we'll add a little bit darker colors on the bottom. Like a bow. Looks like a bow. It's cute. It's cute. How does that look? Alright. So we're gonna save. Oh, you know what I should have done is put a bow on her tail. We can move the bow. We can move the bow and see how it looks. You guys like the bow on her tail? I think I like it on her tail better. Oh my god, it's so adorable. I like it. I like it like that. What do you guys think? Bow on the tail? I think the bow on the tail is way cuter. Cool. Okay. Squiggly. Oops. Let's zoom back into here. And kind of darken this a little bit more. Let's grab the black because I erased it. No, I don't like that. We'll grab this one. And we'll brush. Cool. Actually, I don't know. I think what I need to do is erase this line. There. 
There, that looks that looks right. Okay, we we colored out of the lines right here too. So let's erase right here. There. Whoa. Okay. So we can go ahead and uh, add some text. Let me save this. I don't know what kind of text. What do you think it should say? Should it say Sly Fox Hound, Sly and the Homies, Rolling with the Homies? <laughs> what should it say? What do you guys think? I can change the text. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and make a new text and we will do it. Let's let's see what kind of font do we have? We can use this one for now. S L Y F O X A J U N D. Okay. Let's move this. Make it smaller, of course. Way smaller. It's like Fox Hound. Can you guys see that? Right? Sly Fox at the top. His name is Sly Fox Hound. So. Homies Unite. Homies Unite would be cool. Because then you could see. Let's, let's see how it looks. Homies Unite. I think I just like Sly Fox, Sly Fox, Sly Fox Hound. And, uh, Homie Fox, Sly and the Foxes. I don't know, because, I mean, some people might not know who Sly Fox Hound is, so, I mean, they, this will kind of get them to go look up Sly Fox Hound and see. Um, let me mess with the font here and let's see what the heck let's see what font works better this is a cool font actually I kind of like this font for him we could change the color of the font too oops let's change the color for now we'll use a yellow of course Sly Fox Hound rolling with my homies. I don't know. We can always change the slogan. Let's do like a yellow. Like this. And then we'll put some effects on it. So we'll do like a, a drop shadow. And a, we'll do a black, I guess. Normal. We can increase the size. You can't really see the black though. Sly Fox Hound. Mm, let's make it a little blurred. Then what we can do too is even put a outer glow. We'll do it normal. And Let's change the color. What color do we want it? Let's try like a purple. Purple. Does that work? That looks kind of cool. Maybe even like a little bit of orangey in there. Let's try orangey. Hmm. I think I like a little orange. We can add two on them. So we'll do orange and then we'll do a inner glow of a purple looking color. So let's see. Let's make this normal. And the size da, 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 not so big. Choke we are going to up the opacity and we can even make this a darker purple cool that looks cool I like that I like that what do you guys think of that 
Laker colors. <laughs> it is. It is. Laker colors. Uh, what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think? Do you guys like the colors? Do you like the text? We could even change. Let's let's make another text layer and put Honey's homies unite. Yeah, let's move this. Let's make it smaller. We could even have both of these on it. So we can just right click, copy layer style, paste layer style. United. Homies United. <laughs> Homies Unite. There we go. Did I spell that right? What do you guys think of that? We could even go with the drop shadow and make it a little more more distance. I think I like that. Right. So what do you guys think of that? Do you guys do you guys like that? Is the positioning cool with everyone? Uh we still need to work a little more on the background. Um it's a little rough, but I don't really want the focus on the background. Secret. Someone wants a secret. Um hold on, let me get this. There we go. It's working again. Let's try, hmm, what kind of secret can we do? Um, I want to make all of this dark up here. We can draw a secret cupcake somewhere. <laughs> a secret cupcake. Okay, let me grab this color, make it darker. We can use this for the background just to add a little more structure. Hold on, messed up on the line. Okay. A uh, texture. Someone asks a texture. We could add a texture. I don't know what kind of texture we should add though. Doesn't really. I don't think it really needs a texture. Oh, wrong side. We'll add them on this this side of the trees. The darker on this side of the tree. We still get that little forest type feeling, right? Even though it's it's just very suggestive, is what it is. It's not an actual forest. I kind of like it like that, though kind of mysterious okay let's see where can we add our secret cupcake we can add one like all the way over here to the right I don't want I don't really want to add one cuz what if he didn't want one you know what we can do is we can just, I mean, cause this isn't really about, this is me celebrating the director. Let me see what you guys are saying. <laughs> like a boss. Let's do a little creeping cupcake back here. But we'll do it on a new layer so we could change the opacity. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. Someone said make the cupcake in his mouth. Hold on. Let's close this. Make the cupcake in his mouth being eaten. <laughs> Someone on Skype said... Hmm. We can just do this and I'll change the opacity. Let's see. It's a secret cupcake creeper. Oh my God, it's a creeper. Okay. <laughs> 
let's change the opacity of that. Because that's very obvious right now. Okay, opacity. All right. How is that? You can still barely see it. There. We'll leave it like that. There. It's a secret. Okay. Well, I could add a little bit more on the glasses. I didn't really work on them at all. We can add a little more dimension to them. So let's put a little bit of gray on this. We'll add a little shine to them. And here, uh, 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 and yeah. And that's just a tiny bit, a little bit of depth, but I think, yes, I should save it. I should save it. Save. Save. I said save. Why are you making noises? Save it. Okay, cool. It's saved. So I'm going to go ahead. I will sign it. And you know what? This will be like another... Oops. I'll sign it down here. I'll sign it near the little girl fox is what I'll do. We'll do it right here. And I'll write it like this. Mm -hmm. Let's use a different brush. Here. There's a signature. And there it is. Uh, I think I'm done. I may work on this a little more, maybe, maybe not, but I am going to stop recording this because I think we're done with it. Um, I am going to go ahead and end the stream, but I hope you guys had an awesome time. Look at this checking this out. I need, I think I'm probably going to stream again, but I'm probably going to stream like Binding of Isaac or something. Cause I don't have any episodes up. So <coughs> streaming is done and I will see you all later. Let's see if this works now. I need to figure out how to stop this, but okay, let's try and stop it at the same time and bye.